Arc Raiders looks incredible, but let's be honest, it can be quite tough on your PC. Today I'm going to break down some of the best settings to get smooth gameplay, high frames per second and crisp visuals without turning your PC rig into a jet engine. So whether you're running a mid-range card or a beastly RTX, these tweaks are going to help you raid smoother and also aim faster too. Well if you enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button down below for even more Arc Raiders content here on Endgame Express. Okay, first of all, why optimization matters. So Arc Raiders is built on Unreal Engine 5. That means you get jaw-dropping detail, but also some serious performance dips in big firefights. So optimization isn't just about pretty visuals, it's about your input response, your visibility, and most importantly, the stability. A consistent frame rate means cleaner aim and faster reaction. And that is exactly what we want. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the display and the system settings. And what we want to do first of all is set that window mode to exclusive full screen. So borderless adds input delay, so I would stick with that full screen. In terms of the display resolution, I would keep it at your monitor's native. So I've got a 4K monitor here, but 1080p or 1440p is probably the sweet spot for clarity and speed. In terms of V-Sync, you want to keep that disabled, that adds input lag and also limits responsiveness. And if you're on NVIDIA, you want to enable the reflex low latency and on AMD, you want to use the anti-lag, both make aiming feel much snappier. Regarding the frame rate limit, you want to limit your frame rate to your refresh rate or you can leave it uncapped if your PC can handle it. Well, next up we've got the resolution scaling method, so this one is key, so you can use DLSS, FSR or XESS in quality mode, you're going to gain FPS with almost no loss in sharpness. So you want to think of these as your baseline optimizations, and these are the foundations before fine-tuning your graphics. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the graphics settings for the performance focus. And this is where most of your performance gains are going to happen. So here's what I recommend for maximum smoothness. So with your overall quality, I would start on medium and then you can scale this up a little bit later on. Next up, we've got the motion blur. You definitely want to turn this off. And then we've got the shadows as well. This is one of the biggest drains of frames per second in the game, so I would put this either on low or on medium, depending on the quality of your rig. For post-processing, this one can go on low or medium, that is going to reduce bloom and also clutter as well. And then you've got your texture quality, low or medium, and that depends on your VRAM. Next up we've got effects, you want to put it on low or medium, so fewer particle effects, that means smoother gameplay. And then reflections, again that can go on low or medium. It's a small visual trade-off, but you get a big frames per second gain. Foliage, this one can either go on low or medium. So that one is going to make enemies easier to see when you're outdoors. But also do remember, probably worth tweaking this setting to your personal preference. You can also hide in the foliage as well. So have a play around and see what works best for you. In terms of the global illumination, you can set this to low or static. But this alone can add 15 to 20 FPS. So with these tweaks you can gain roughly 35 to 50 frames on mid-range hardware without ruining the visuals and that is a huge upgrade. Okay next up let's have a look at a quality setup for high-end PCs. So if you're on a high-end GPU you can push things further. So first of all you want to bump textures from medium to high. And then you want to go shadows to medium. We've already got shadows on medium, so that is very, very good. Well, next up, you want to turn post-processing to high. You get richer lighting, but also with your ray tracing settings, I would keep that off or low. It looks really gorgeous, but it tanks performance in firefights. What I would do is prioritize fluidity over flash. You're going to enjoy the game more. Okay, so there's one more setting that I think is useful as well, and that is field of view. The baseline field of view is 70 and I would bump that all the way up to 80. That's going to give you more visibility to see the Arc AI and also other PvP combatants. 
Well, next up, let's have a look at some advanced system tweaks. We've got a few pro tips here to finish optimizing your setup. You want to make sure you update your GPU drivers. Game ready or adrenaline drivers often boost Arc Raider stability, so that's going to be very, very good. So you want to make sure you want to install on an SSD. It eliminates micro stutters from the texture loading and also close background apps for Chrome, Discord, recorders. They all eat your CPU cycles. So if your frame time graph looks uneven, you want to cap FPS just below your refresh rate. For example, 58 FPS on a 60 Hertz monitor. That's going to smooth the frame pacing absolutely beautifully. So I do have some common mistakes to avoid. So you don't want to crank everything to ultra. It looks nice until your FPS absolutely nosedives. And don't enable VSync if you're already using G-Sync or FreeSync. And don't ignore CPU load. Background apps can cause most stutters. And also, don't lower resolution too far. Use DLSS or FSR instead. It keeps enemies sharp and also visible. Now, small mistakes can cost you dozens of frames. Well, next up, let's have a look at one audio setting that I do think is quite interesting, and that is night mode. So this setting applies audio compression to narrow the dynamic range, effectively reducing the game's overall sound stage. While this helps minimize background noise, ambient effects and other distractions, allowing for greater focus, it also does come with a trade-off. So a less immersive sound experience, I would recommend experimenting with this setting to see what suits you and your playstyle before deciding to keep it on or off. A great testing ground is Damn Battlegrounds, where predictable robot patterns make it easy to assess how the game's audio behaves under different conditions. Okay, some final recommendations. Here is a quick recap. You want to do full screen mode, VSync off, DLSS on quality, shadows on low, textures on medium, and motion blur is off. So start there and test in a heavy combat zone. If your FPS stays high, gradually increase the visuals until you find your sweet spot. Now, this isn't about max graphics, it's about maximum consistency. And that is it, that is this guide for today. That is the best PC settings for Arc Raiders. Try these out, share your results below, and let me know what FPS gains that you got. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below for even more Arc Raiders guides here on Endgame Express. And I'll see you in the next raid.